happy Sunday, everyone. Um, oh my God, there's already so many people here. <laughs> Hi. Um, welcome to Strawberries of Sun Sunday with Strawberry. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. Um, so today I actually got four new fragrances over the course of this whole week, uh, which is a lot for me. I, I know for like the bigger YouTubers, it's like probably not a big deal, but for me, that's huge. Uh, so I just wanted to go through and show you what I got. Um, so two of these are like staples in, first of all, let me just say happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Um, if you are, please let me know how your week has been. Um, mine has been pretty good. Um, my weekend too. I went out last night, hung out with some friends, a little bit of drama. IRL, not online, that I know of. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, oh wait, ah, I didn't even click on the comments. Hi, Joe, thanks for stopping by, Sanjo. Stinky, Jason and Larmbosky, how was it? And Hills, thank you so much. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. And yes, four fragrances. That's big for me, okay? For broke girls on a budget. Got it. <laughs> okay, so the first two that I am starting out with uh, are pretty staples. Everybody, I feel like, has tried them, so this is not going to be anything new. I'm just going to give you my opinion on it. Um, and as you're building, we're all building my collection with me. Uh, or you're watching me build my collection. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. So uh, first, shout out to uh, my main man. Um, he went out and got me YSL. Libre o de parfum. Uh, uh, I was having a bad day and he went to Ulta and he's like, tell me what you want, tell me what you need, I'll buy it for you. So he went out and got me um, this. Got, oh, see, I was like, oh, hi, Sanjo. I'm bloated, I'm Italian too much. I'll do it. Hello, thank you for coming on the stream. Oh, Yara loves it. Oh, I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Um, back when I got Good Girl so long ago, it was between these two. I was like, do I want this or do I want Good Girl? I'm really glad I went with Good Girl. Um, I love it so much. Uh, I wore it out last night and um, got compliments and it was amazing. So I, I definitely proud of the ha happy with the decision I made, but this has always been my what if, like, what if I got this one instead, you know? <laughs> Howdy, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's really, really, really hard getting these and not opening them. Uh, it's just, it was tempting me all week. I was like, oh, just open it, just open it. But no, oh, it's little. I thought I got the big one, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Hi, hello, Melissa. Thank you for coming by. This is the small one. How much is this? I can't read. Oh, it's the one fluid ounce one. How are you today, Melissa? Uh, so, oh, shout out to Lily. She got me tester strips, so I don't have to use my notebook paper. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it looks so small. <laughs> But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. How do you, I don't wanna break this cause the cap is like very pretty. I've seen it before, I've seen it before and I just love the bottle. The bottle's beautiful. Um, okay, but we all know what this is. Like nothing revolutionary. It's not revolutionary to me. Okay, I'm excited about it. <laughs> um, okay. Yay, so excited. As your collection grows, you'll come to appreciate smaller bottles. Yes, I agree, Jason, because I just got a perfume stand um, right here, and it's already full. Like, <laughs> it is already full. I don't know where I'm going to put this, but we will figure it out. Oh, I'm already smelling it. It's strong. Um, 
like the stream. Yes, please like the stream if you're watching. I hope you're having an incredible Sunday too. Uh, team 30 ml. Heck yeah. Okay. So Amelia. Ooh. It's very um vanilla. I, I smell vanilla. But I also smell like lavender, actually. I I see I knew that this had a vanilla scent to it, but I'm getting actually way more lavender in this than I am anything else. But I really like it. Um Hello, hello Louis, how are you? Um yeah, I really like it. Uh, is it my favorite? Probably not. It, but it's it's very classy. I will say that it's very like fine. If I was to go out like on a fine dining dress, very nice. Maybe like a wedding, like very formal event. I think I would wear this. This is very like a formal smell. I like it. It's very classy. But um, the lavender is. Old. Very strong. <laughs> Hello. I know. Thank you, Daniel. I'm really happy. We are five away from 100. That is awesome. Thank you for showing up, Daniel. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I was just, I'm very surprised at the lavender, how much there is, because that's like the most prominent thing. I, for some reason, I thought this was a very vanilla y scent, but that was my bad. <laughs> I would like to see a new frag and be disciplined and not get crazy with purchases. Probably won't happen though. I I feel like I've been pretty good. Like the next one, I so this one was a gift. Another one was a gift. One I actually purchased. And then the other one that I'm about to show um, is I got a, quite a good discount. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have to justify it in some way. <laughs> Oh, that's it's beautiful though as it like dries down um the lavender is not as bad <laughs> i think the lavender as soon as like was really strong right when i smelled it see if i can get your hunter i would hope that would be great <laughs> that would be so nice i would super appreciate it but i'm really thankful for what i have now i'm a lot farther than i thought i was gonna be so i i I'm very happy for the people that just show up. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Rocky. Happy Sunday. Um, oh, thank you. That's so nice, Hills. You're so sweet. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm almost to 30. I'm almost to 30 bottles, I think, which is awesome. Uh, considering just a couple months ago when I started, I had Daisy and I had Cloud and then I think I like just bought Princess at that time and I, I hate Princess. We don't talk about Princess. I can't get rid of her. She's just there. She's taking up space. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Okay, so um I don't know. I was gonna say I rate this, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Um, I rate this very lavender out of I thought this was gonna be vanilla. So I'm surprised, but I don't hate it. But it's also not my favorite. So but it's awesome. I love it. I think it's still really classy. Also to wear it, it's not like I hate it, but it's like, I have tried better. Um, okay, so there's that. Um, 98 so oh, hey, Hillary, how are you? Oh wait, that's Hills. <laughs> I just got like two wires off. Okay, uh, hi, thank you, Jason, 98, that is awesome. I was like, Hillary, I'm just used to saying Hills. <laughs> okay, so this next one, again, it's a very much a staple. Everyone has tried it, but I haven't. So, and everyone talks about it. Um, when I got this, I was actually with Hunter's sister. Uh, she went and got my tattoo with me yesterday. And um, she said that this was her signature scent for the longest time. It's her favorite. She's never bought a full bottle though. She's always bought the travel size bottles. Um, and I told her, I was like, girl, get the full bottle. If you wear it that much, get the big thing. Um, too mature. Um, it is very mature. And that's, that's probably why I don't like it 
as much is because I very much like fruity scents. Uh, and I am on the younger side. I love playful, bubbly scents, ones with personality. Um, but it also depends on the vibe. If I'm trying to go out and be like my classy girl aesthetic, I would reach for that one for sure. 99 subs. Oh, that is so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, bye two cents. What's up? Happy Sunday. I hope you had a good week and a good weekend. I hope you did fun stuff. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone, shout out to my two cents. Check out his channel if you haven't. Same with Joe. Same with Hills. Same with Melissa. Check out all my friends. But you guys all know each other. <laughs> I'm talking about anybody who's like watching, not commenting. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, I'm like already opening the box. I even show the box. <laughs> Hello. Happy 100 sub special. Oh, I should change it. I'm going to change the title now. 100 sub special. Should I do a little dance? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted. So uh, we'll figure that out for the next milestone. But yay. I'm so happy. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Your name's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to my strawberries with Sunday. This Sunday's with strawberry. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, that is so awesome. I uh, Thank you so much for being the 100 subs. Congrats to you too. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Oh, this is so happy. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> At what point in your fragrance journey do you have a favorite scent if you had to pick one? It can be male, female, unisex. Okay. So for male, I, as many people know, Gucci Guilty is my favorite. And I think that's because I just personally haven't dive deep into male fragrances yet, but um, there is one guy uh, that I frequents the bar that I go to, and we're besties. I'll give him a hug every time I see him, and I just am in love every time I, like, smell what he's wearing, and I always ask him, like, what are you wearing? Like, is it anything else? Because I'm crazy over what you're wearing, and every time he's, like, Gucci Guilty, that's my go-to, and that like oh, that scent so much for me uh feral might I say but uh I I love that one um and then my favorite scent currently for women um probably the Ormonde Jane Levant that I own because Hills shouts to Hills and Yara they sent me a bunch of decants to try over on Joe's, on Average Joe's channel, and um, I they sent me a sample of that, and I absolutely fell in love. It it is amazing. I get so many compliments on that, so that's by far my favorite right now. I perfect. I need to think of like a song to dedicate to all of you. Uh, so check out uh, not Joey Kanoe Raw, but do sub to Joey Cannoli Raw, uh, but jo I am Joey Cannoli for Karaoke Night, Wednesday. I will think of something, I promise. <laughs> Hello, Caboose. Happy Sunday. Oh, but this is so exciting. Thank you, Brian. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. You guys are so nice. <laughs> We're besties. Eagles, I friends in him pretty much, pretty much. But hi, DDLD, how are you? The other Joes here. Oh, and supply and demand. Hello. Um, I realized this weekend how much I like quite a few Gucci fragrances. I am trying to figure out which designers don't cause me headaches. It's a long process. For sure, I really love. I mean, as you know, oh, do I not have? I think that's kind of right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love Gucci Guilty the best, in my opinion. I haven't tried Gentleman, though, and I hear a lot about it, so I need to try it. Um, oh, oh, it's Raph. Hi, Raph. <laughs> How are you? I'm so happy. Sorry, I just 
I'm too hyper right now. <laughs> Hello, Heather, how are you? Thank you for joining. Hi, Manny. Oh, what a great Sunday. I have a beer on tap for work called Caboose Juice. Ooh, yum. <laughs> I'm buying GPHEP. Gucci. What does that stand for? I'm sorry. I'm new. I'm learning. Please let me know. Givenchy Gentleman Reserve. Prive is a nice boss. Ugh, cat hair. <laughs> okay, I will need to try that because, yeah, I hear a lot of great things about uh, Givenchy Gentleman. Oh, is it Givenchy Gentleman, not Gucci Gentleman? <laughs> My bad. The G's, they get me mixed up, you know? Uh, thank you, Brian. <laughs> Gucci pour homme eau de parfum. I will try it. Oh, oh. That's what you're getting. Oh, I see. Hi, Ali. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, okay, so next, like I said like five minutes ago before I went on my little spiel. Um, I finally got Burberry Her, and a lot of people have been telling me to get this for the longest time because I think one of the top notes is strawberry, and the reason why I really want Rouge Trafalgar is because there's a lot of red berries scents, and I know it's the same for this one, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, again, nothing most people haven't tried, but this is my first time, so I'm just documenting it. <laughs> um... Okay, oh, this, I got the big one too. So the crazy thing about this um, is that when I went to go buy this, on the sign it said like what? 130 for the 3.3 uh, milliliter bottle, their fluid ounce bottle. Um, and then so I had Ulta points I knew and I had an Ulta gift card. So I knew I was gonna get a lot off. And the nice thing was I went up to ring it and it was like ringing up $150. And I was like, actually the sign says 130. So I also got a discount to match the price on the sign. So that is awesome. Um, I also, I kind of already smell it through the bottle, which is really cool. Um, everyone just saying hi to each other. If you're gonna buy one, that's the one to get. I know, I was really excited. Um, Hunter's sister couldn't say enough good things about it. And she's a bit of a frat head. Um, she doesn't join, or she's not in the whole um, fragrance community, but does she have a wall of fragrances? Oh my goodness, she has so many. And she's, every time I'm like, oh, have you tried this? She's like, yeah. And then she's awesome. I love it. Uh, but yeah, Burberry Her. I'm going to go ahead and. Ooh, that was like a, a nice spray of such very top quality. Ooh, I smell it. Ooh, it smells so fruity. I can smell it from here. Um, next to Crystal Noir, EDP, and Angel Share. I was telling her too, I was like, girl, you need to try Angel Share if you haven't. Because, but she's like, Killian, that's so much. <laughs> Which is true, it's expensive. We're broke girls out here. Okay. And I, I love that it's pink, my favorite color. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, you guys are not lying. This is amazing. Okay, no wonder it's just so mainstream. This absolutely slaps, okay? Like, damn, I think I might have a new favorite. <laughs> like, this is amazing. I love how fruity it is. Like, all of you know, I, I'm such a fan of fruity fragrances, as long as they're not like gourmandy, like, you know, like, wow. Okay, so I definitely smell the berries and it's like not really too, I think that there's, there's florals in here for sure, but they're not overpowering and it's not, the one thing that I like hate about florals is sometimes they can just come off way too mature and I, that I, it's not like that at all. This is beautiful. 10 strawberries at 10 strawberries for me. This is slaps, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, I really love this. Um, no wonder this is so popular. I'm not surprised at all, but I, I love this. And the bottle's so simplistic. Um, and it's just beautiful. I love it. I, 
I'm really happy for this. This great purchase, great purchase. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, oh gosh, I'm really behind on the comments. I gotta love the discounts. Absolutely. I'm really happy. Um, yeah, it was a discount on the bottle. Then I got the Ulta points off and then I had my gift card. So really it wasn't that bad. Yeah, so it honestly, and that's the whole reason why I got um, Mom Perry and why I want Rouge to Flogger is because of the strawberry notes. Um, same with uh, Bite Me by Rebels of the Confession. It's great strawberry notes. And it's not too like synthetic strawberry. It's not like, you know, oh, like it smells like strawberry on like a teddy bear. It's like a very nice, it's not overpowering, you know. Um, yes, so I'm just catching up on the comments. <laughs> it is a standout. It is awesome. Um, is this the new Burberry Her? Let me check. I believe so. This is... Girl. <laughs> so where do I find that? <laughs> But I believe so. I got it at Ulta, so I think, and it was the only one on the mark on the table. So I think it must be the newest one, unless not. Hi, Marissa. How are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, means your job, and that's a more is New York IG Facebook. I'm going to stop counting by 102. What? There's so people to subscribe. Thank you. So nice. Oh. No, it's EDP, Brian, not Elixir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the Eau de Parfum. Yeah. Okay. So, those are the staples. Oh, what was that? That was a cat hair. I'm sorry. They're everywhere, and I just... And how they float. No matter how much dusting I do, they get everywhere. Okay, so um, next I got this off Fragrance Net and I am so excited to try it. Um, this I, I had this in my list of things that I actually saw this on uh, TikTok. Um, Gosh, I will look up the TikToker's name and I'll add it into the description. Um, she's awesome though. Um, but she, and I, I do follow her for a lot of like feminine fragrance uh, suggestions, and she's awesome. Um, but she recommended uh, Alien Goddess by Mugler. Mugler. I don't know how to say it. Am I saying it right? Uh, but yeah, it apparently it has a very beachy vibe. Um, and I love that. And it's summertime, so I want to try it out. But I hear it is an absolute goddess scent. So I want to, I want to get it. So this is the one thing I paid full price for. <laughs> uh, so yeah, not too bad. I'm not going crazy yet. But yes. Um... Just finally gonna or gonna find out is his thoughts on alien. Yes, I'm really excited. So I know that there is a purple actual alien one, and this one's the second one, alien goddess. So I haven't smelled the actual alien though. Um, but yeah. See the what really got me to get this is this beautiful bottle. It is so pretty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this bottle. It is so classy and gorgeous. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really happy. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. Um have have any has anybody else tried this? I'm curious to know. I don't know when this came out. I should do my research. I'm a terrible reviewer. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't know when this came out, but um maybe it's better. Yeah. Give my um, unbiased opinion, you know. <laughs> okay. 
Ooh, I already smell it. I already smell it. Okay, so first, just from smelling it out here, um, very much reminds me of this salon, um, hair salon, like the very like fresh, clean soaps um, and hair products. Um, definitely gives me clean girl aesthetic vibes, if that makes sense. I know it, they're the ones with like the star bottles and then they have the purple version of this. Yeah, I've seen a few other, they slap with bottles, absolutely. Both versions, oh, there's two. God, I, love these. I have the Eau de Parfum, yes. Do you mean the EDT, Did, is it an EDT? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and smell it. Wow, okay, yeah, it's definitely beachy, very coconutty, but um, not like overpoweringly coconut, not like um, very like mouth watering coconut. It's more of like the oh, you use coconut shampoo, you know, it's like a very, it's kind of so it's very soapy in that aspect. It's a soapy, coconutty shampoo, or er, fragrance. <laughs> Regular uh, Alien EDP, a couple of the flankers, but I didn't like this one. I really like it just because I do enjoy the soapier fragrances. I love things that make me smell clean. Um, I really like this, actually. You know, this brings me back to actually this is, pro this is probably weird. I remember growing up and taking a shower in the morning and then my mom pulling my hair into a tight bun and using like the Aussie uh, mousse in my hair to pull all my hair back. And then I go to uh, either my soccer game or like my um, ball ballet. And this just reminds me of that smell of being fresh out of the shower and my mom doing my hair. This is very much a nostalgic soapy clean scent for me but it's very much smells like hair products <laughs> um hi chris how are you alien man is a disaster i have not smelled that yes coconut <laughs> post cologne oh, i love your name <laughs> first of all hello how are you welcome to the Sundays with strawberries. Uh, we're doing an unboxing, but thank you for coming to the channel. We appreciate you here. <laughs> I love your name though. It's so cool. Um, there's an intense version of Goddess too. They're both nice. Ooh, I would be interested to try that and wonder if it's as soapy. Is it as soapy? I'll just ask you. <laughs> um, Anoush, how are you? Just to confirm, you have or have not smelled the original Alien. I have not smelled the original Alien. Not yet. I plan on getting it because um, I've heard great things about it. But this was kind of, it seemed like this one was a higher, like, re like the reviews were a lot better for this one. So I stuck with this one first. But I do want to try the other one. <laughs> Post Cologne. I know. I love it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that is awesome. And thank shouts to Brian. Thank you. Uh, oh gosh, it's going by so quick. Okay. Uh Plosky. <laughs> How is everybody? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate thank you so much for subbing to the channel. I appreciate it. It's not as soapy, a bit more rich. Okay, so I would also be interested to try that because this is super soapy to me. <laughs> super, super soapy. But it also just, like I said, it goes with the clean girl aesthetic. So it's like, if that's what you're wanting, that's a great, great fragrance for that. Okay. I'm zooming through these. I didn't think that <laughs> I would be getting done so quickly. Um, but last but not least, we have some shout out to Hills and Yara. Uh, they sent me uh, this fragrance. Like I mentioned earlier, they sent me a bunch of decants. Um, I think it was about a month ago. And I reviewed them on Joe's, on Average Joe's channel. And um, they sent me this fragrance. And I 
fell absolutely in love. I was watering at the mouth, just smelling it. Um, made me very hungry too. <laughs> and I loved it so, sorry, I'm trying to open the box. Um, but yeah, so they said I, that they were happy I liked it and they sent this over to me. So just trying to open this box. <laughs> I'll show you what it is. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. No, no worries. I it's just I have little scissors. It's more my fault. I have very little scissors. I don't know where my actual scissors are. Oh my god, I would love that, Anoush. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I I prefer not to buy blind buy things, but that's pretty much what I did like this whole week. <laughs> um, but also just adds to the surprise. But I would so appreciate that, Anoush. That's so nice of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, I'm making a mess. Sorry, I'm taking forever to unbox this. <laughs> oh my gosh, and there's more decant. <gasps> oh, thank you. Okay, I will, here, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any before I go ahead and, I also open this upside down, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect, I didn't miss it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not opening this yet. I know what it is, but I'm not opening it yet. Um, so, okay, perfect. Thank you. You are the MVP, Anuj. That is so nice of you. Okay, so the first decant I got is Narcisco Ombre. Did I say that right or did I butcher it? I probably butchered it. <laughs> Narcisco Ombre. Ombre. No, no worries. I'm just happy you guys sent me decants. I appreciate it because I'm going through the decants you sent me like crazy. I have them all on my bottom shelf in my perfume stand and I'm just like, oh, which one do I want today? <laughs> so no, I appreciate it. Narcisco Ombre. Um, oop, I missed it. There we go. <laughs> oh, Rob, Narcis, na, nar Narcisco Ombre. We're just gonna call it that. <laughs> Nar. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm ruining this. I'm ruining this, everybody. I'm sorry. Okay. I will look up how to say it after or have somebody say it for me. Um. Okay. Ooh. This is. What is this? Go into your memory bank. So this is like citrusy, right? I, am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Let me try it. I might be getting those blind. Narciso. Narciso. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Narciso. You know, this kind of reminds me of, um, I know that there's florals in here, but what florals? Hmm. I don't think that they're white florals because I usually don't like white florals. Narciso, Rodriguez, uh, Ambre. Ombre or Ambre? Hmm. I think it's Ombre because Ombre sounds prettier. Hmm. But I like this. I'm not really sure what's in it. My nose isn't trained enough. I'm not like that great yet. But is it, is it citrus? I don't know. Okay, so I really do like this. It kind of, you know, it very much reminds me of my mother. It's more mature scent for sure, but it's also classy. It, I would say it's like the same vibe that the Libre has for me, but it is it's not like lavender-y or vanilla-y. Like it is, I mean, in the sense that this is like a very formal, classy scenario that you would wear this in. 
but I really love it. I really, really love it. Yellow and white florals, musks, and kind of beachy. Oh, so there are white florals, but also yellow florals. It is very beachy and breezy. Um, I do like, it's light. It's like, it's not overpowering. It's not, I don't think it's offensive at all. It's very nice. I really like it. It's super classy. It, oh, it's ombre. Oh, that's right. Yes, the, it is a very beautiful fragrance. I do like this one. Hmm, I really like it. I wonder how much is the price point for this one? I'll put this in the front. I really see what I do whenever I get a sample or a decant. I have my um, two buy in the front to eventually buy in the middle and then the maybe buy if you get around to it in the back. But I'm putting this one towards the front because this one is gorgeous. I really love this. Reminds me of sunsets. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's very much comfort and sunsets and safety. It's a very nice fragrance. I love this one. And then next, um, this is a lot of musk in most of their stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't like offensively musky. I wouldn't say. It's not like too musky at all. Hi, Dunk, how are you? Oh, hi. Hello, Pop Fritz. Uh, Spritz with Pop Fritz. I see strawberries also on Team Al when it comes to gaming chair gate. <laughs> okay, with that, um, I, I'm on nobody's team. <laughs> I just like a good laugh. <laughs> and I just love when he's like, I'm not right, I'm Al. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Love it. I think I ordered it for $69 from a discounter two years ago. Oh, that's great price, actually. That's awesome. Okay, so next, um, I had, M I'm so sorry, I can't read, um, either this is Husk or it's Muse, Invisible Jot, oh, oh, Jodge, Juliet has a gun, I was like, Jodge, what's Jodge? <laughs> because it's a G H A G. Thank you. <laughs> Musk and is it invisible? Yeah, invisible. Sorry, I forgot to highlight your comment. 41 on fragrance net? Oh, that's that is awesome for the price point. That just like kicked it up five more notches. That's so sick. Well, you're not in a gamer chair. Yeah, this is a makeup chair. Um, but I do uh want a gamer chair. You know, I did want to be a gaming live streamer for a long time, but I decided that's just too much work. And the games that I play, I often like games that make me cry and make me sad. And then that means I'll just cry in front of a bunch of people, which I don't think is good. No worries, Yara. You are good. You wrote it perfectly fine. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's like, can you go blow stuff up in your backyard? It's a surefire way to get many subscribers. I am scared of even lighting candles sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how I can just blow things up, but good suggestion. Yes, beautiful handwriting. She's awesome. No, I was able to read it. I just didn't know how to say it. Playing video games all day, it was too much work. I think it was just because I wanted a pink gamer chair with like the pink little headphones that every gamer girl, e-girl has with a pink microphone, everything pink. Because I love pink. Pink's my signature. Um, that more was too much work. And then I have to figure out a background. I have to get a green screen. Maybe one day. I don't know. Um, but I'm not against pink gamer chairs. Gamer chairs, yeah. But if they're pink, you got it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, Musk Invisible by Juliet Has a Gun. Oh, it's not squirting. One second. Uh, oh, there it goes. There we go. 
I was like, it wasn't squirting. I got nervous. I was like, did it break? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna line that up in my case. Okay. I should have brought some coffee beans. Or is that, is that a, that's a myth, right? The coffee green beans don't work. Oh, absolutely, Brian. They're the cutest. That's the only acceptable game of chair there is, is if it's pink. <laughs> okay. Ooh. This reminds me of mimosas. This is like a mimosa set. I don't... Oh, this is super nice. Definitely. Is this like a... I feel like this is more of a unisex fragrance than anything. This is very, very nice. Wow, I really, this is old money type of smell, I feel like. That's what the vibes this gives me off. Buying pink stuff equals too much work, I agree. Send the day, oh, I forgot. What is everyone's scent of the day today? Please comment this below. Distance to Britain, do his hybrid of Pure Distance M and Great Britain Roja. Very ballsy leather masculine. Not at all. <laughs> you can't handle pink. I ripped up. How are you? Just takes place what was. Oh, I see. I see. How is set of the day on average patch? Shout out to on average patch. Amazing. If you don't have it, get yours now. Scent journey fragrances. Uh, Grace and Grotto. I don't know how to spell either, if that helps. But <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce things. I don't know how to spell. Um, well, Duncan with a four. That, are you kidding me? Distance to Britain. Yeah, I never heard of that one. Makes sense. I'm not in that tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in that tax. Sorry, I cannot buy that. <laughs> but that is awesome. So today, a ton of things from a random Sephora things, as you should. <laughs> oh, um, she. Uh, I is it? I see. I know. Didn't this person just recently pass away? Oh, but yeah, uh, I have heard of them. I haven't smelled anything, but um, yes, I did hear everybody talking about that. Breast news. Uh, John Varvatos, OG. Super super see. He said Dua, never mind. <laughs> I have to head out. It was great seeing you and all the berries. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you yes uh they passed last tuesday that is so sad um rest in peace hope they're doing or i hope their family's doing okay um my man post rocking my all-time favorite yup one hooked the boy up for 25 dollars by the way it's, uh, it is great at following chat thank you i try <laughs> Shout out to the berries, my berry boys, babes, and besties. We're inclusive here. <laughs> we love everybody. Y'all are berries. Everyone's a berry. Okay, but anyway, going back to this, this gives me very much old money. I think that this actually, I would love to smell this on a, um, on a man, um, but I also think it's very unisex. Um, this gives me very much museum vibes, very classy, very uh academia vibes this gives me old money boat shoes on my yacht i love this this is nice this is really beautiful um hills i love that one um i'm not sure of the notes just because i really have not smelled anything like this before I, like i said i i really like when hills and yara send me stuff because i do um so since I'm just beginning my collection, I'm like, I'm buying things that very much 
fit into what I would wear rather than branching out into things that I haven't tried. Um, so far, I've just been doing the safe options, things I know, notes I know I like. Um, so yeah, um, that is not something I've actually really smelled before, but I love it. I love it so much. This is amazing. Just ordered an average patch 10 minutes ago. That is awesome. San Jose NTTO Musk Therapy. Ooh. Ooh. Autumn, how are you? Said a Tuscan letter, but yesterday I had an appreciation for San Jose Sauvage Elixir. It's Al. It is a AL potion. Oh, it's an owl potion. We called it potions. <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day, I walked uphill both ways, crossed a river, up a mountain. Every day. Hills, do you like smoky? The Curacao Black Mill is awesome. Smoky slash berry fragrance. Ooh. You see, I don't really, really have um, a lot of smell. I don't think I've really smelled anything smoky. I do want to get replicas by the fireside. I was just talking about it yesterday with Hunter's sister because I know it has like a marshmallow scent. I think it'd be great for the winter, but she did say it was really smoky. So I'm interested to try that. Notes are cotton flower, jasmine, and white musk. That is beautiful. I really love that. So it's nothing I haven't smelled before. I wonder why it smells so different. Like, I really don't have anything like this in my collection. I really love this one. Thank you for sharing it with me. I think I'm, I'm actually going to get a bottle of that. That's beautiful. Yara said they smelled it and loved it. I need to get my snoot on it. As you should. Get your snoot on it. What fragrances are you sampling? I got on late. So the one I was just talking about with the old money vibes are Musk Invisible by Juliet Has a Gun. I love this one. It's so good. Okay, I think I'm going to buy this before the other one. So got to make it in order. Initio. Initio. Oh, thank you. I can't spell, and I can't read, and I sure can't speak. <laughs> I made a song. Hi, Ali. Again. <laughs> oh, yay! DC DDO's the video about Al and gaming chairs. Best thing ever. No, I do have to rewatch it. I've been super busy all weekend. But, yeah, I know. The gaming chair gate has me off the wall. I love it. Oh, true. True, true. That is true, Joe. Um, Allie, I have bright hills. I always struggle with him. I'm like, dude, it's so wrong. But man, it's fabulous. Because <laughs> he should be fabulous. <laughs> um, okay. So, last thing. Shouts to Hosen Yara. They sent me. Um, here, wait. Oh, I need to fill for where the label is. The label's right here. Okay. <gasps> da da da. Mango. Ooh, this is a pretty bottle. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> this is a really pretty bottle. Mango skin. So, referencing back to uh, the the uh, the stream that I had on Joe's channel, um, they sent me a decant of this, and I fell in love with mango skin. I loved it so much. It was in my top three. Um, I think it was actually my number one at the time, um, and I ran out of it already. And then Lily, shouts to Floral Notes, she sent me another decant. I ran out of that one. And now I have a full bottle. Thank you to Hills and Yara. So I'm just going to review it one more time in honor of them um, on my channel. I haven't reviewed it yet, so I would like to. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just opened the lid, and it's already just I smell it it's so good this bottle by the way I am a sucker for bottle designs I will buy a bottle just for how it looks so this and actually very much this crystally round structure very much reminds me of the angel's share um, bottle 
if it had like a, the same type of top that it did here, it would look exactly like Angel Share, in my opinion. Allegedly. Um, I told you a nice bottle. Yeah, it was so it's so pretty. Uh, I threw Brian into the great, great gaming chair debate at the end of my last video. <laughs> I will have to check it out. Oh my goodness. Everybody is all, everyone has an opinion on this. You would think it was like presidential election or something, but no, it's gaming chair gate. <laughs> How do you try uh, Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber? I saw it at the rack store for $30 Canadian, but I've heard mixed reviews and it's more feminine than unisex. I personally have not tried it, um, but I am a sucker for cherry fragrances. I really, really need to get uh, Tom Ford's, um, what is it, Lost Cherry? Lost Cherry? Um, I do need to get that. I haven't heard great things on the other one that they have, so. I get them mixed up. I was just talking about this yesterday. We had, I need to get her on the channel sometimes. She's awesome, but she has such an array of fragrances. So she, she would be a great guest. So maybe I'll bring her on sometime. Um, maybe she possibly has tried it. So I'll ask her. Oh, it only lasts like two hours. Oh, that's sad. Yes, I know. That's, that's exactly what I thought when I looked at the bottle. I was like, oh my god, it looks just like Angel Share. Um, Post Cologne is a great scent. Definitely more feminine, in my opinion. Lost Trait. Oh, good. I was right. Uh, perfect. Delina Exclusive. No, I have tried Delina. Again, shout out to Hill Senora. Sent me a decan of it. I love Delina. I haven't tried Exclusive yet. Am I saying it wrong? Am I saying it dumb? Am I saying it offensively? Let me know. I will stop. <laughs> she want exclusive. <laughs> Bitter peach. Oh, maybe that's what I was thinking. I was thinking black cherry. Bitter peach. Okay. I'm going to start with B. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Okay. So literally, what can I say? It literally just tastes, or not tastes, it smells exactly like mangoes. It's just a mangoes, but it's like, it kind of has like a mango bubblegum aspect, if that makes sense. It's not like confection, it's like fresh mangoes. It's very like, I wouldn't say bubblegum actually, because it's not like synthetic. It just smells like fresh mangoes. Like you just cut into one and it's just right in your face some juice gone on your face when you cut into it and that's what it smells like it's just pure mango to me i'm sure there's other notes um but it's maybe some orange or mandarin More orange and mandarin i feel like are the same thing i know that they're not i'm probably gonna, don't cancel me but <laughs> it's very maybe it's just very mango-y but i get a little bit of like citrus like mango-y or er, sorry orange from it mandarin i don't know but yeah i really like this this is beautiful i'm so happy to have this in my collection and i'm gonna make a special spot for it because uh we all know it's gonna be a long time before i get angel share we're a broke girls on a budget so <laughs> this will be my honorary gorgeous bottle until then because it's so pretty i love this so thank you to hills and yara i love you guys so much you guys are so sweet um, I cannot thank you enough. Let me know if I can do anything to repay you because you guys are just the kindest people ever. I really appreciate it. Lost Cherry sucks for any gender. Really? I've heard, um, that it was really good. Oh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Maybe I was misadvised. <laughs> Get Raw Cherry from Aaron Terrence rather than a lost cherry in my opinion it's better I'm taking notes I should bring a notepad <laughs> next time I stream I need to write this down but I will watch it back raw cherry is great good okay good we will we'll go that route instead thank you see this every time I, I'm gonna get a new fragrance I should just talk to you guys because you guys are gonna help me way more with that was just a pun since I saw you chat here. Oh, 
Lost cherry is a red bottle, peach, orange bottle. Yes. So I'm talking about the, I was talking about the red bottle one. Um, that's the one that I've heard good things about. So I was surprised. Um, oh, I'm way behind in the chat. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. She gets into, oh wait, what's his name again? Uh, Aaron Terrence Hughes. I've heard of it. I've heard that name. I haven't spelled anything yet. So I'm taking that as a challenge, Joe. I'm getting into it. <laughs> I deal, uh, oh gosh, these names. E, I deal, EDP, um, I feel like you guys are messing with me sometimes with these names. <laughs> if you want the best masculine cherry, good to know. Okay. Um, yeah, I do. So despite me being like in love with fragrances, my other half uh unfortunately does not really wear fragrances i got him for christmas no for his birthday uh oh, mont blanc explorer the black one and um a handful of times <laughs> he's worn it but i do want to get into more male fragrances just so you know i could review them and talk about them um so i'm going to start forcing him to wear them <laughs> gonna give him his own little stand and be like put it on as soon as he gets out of the shower when she exactly when I get into it I get a cherry cherry cola vibe from Bogart for um and tobacco although neither are listed in the notes hmm. see that's the thing I feel like I always smell things that are not in the notes and then I think I'm just dumb but good to know I'm not alone <laughs> thank you I love you guys you guys are awesome Thank you. Aw, thanks, Robbie. You guys are so nice. And so I will trade you a decant of Angel Share for a decant of the Mango. Oh, this is how we get started. Absolutely. Let's do it, Allie, because I really want to try Angel Share so bad. Hello, Tyler. How are you? Welcome to Strawberry Sundays with Strawberries. Uh, I like raw cherry. Okay. Decant of raw cherry. Hit me up on IG. Okay. I will, because, yeah, I. it sounds like raw cherry is the way to go. See, you guys have the inner intel that I need. <laughs> I don't know these things. I feel like this is, like, I feel like YouTubers, like, they just come in with, like, I know all these things, right? And I feel like it's very much of a fun vibe being, like, I know nothing. We're going to learn together. You're going to watch me learn, you know? I think it's fun. Um... But, yeah, I mean, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm just learning. I'm a baby fraghead. <laughs> I came for the butt waxing review but learned a lot about fragrances. It's true you learn something new every day. I love that. I mean, if you haven't seen it on Joy Killer Raw, we did my mustache waxing, which I think we need to do again, girl. She getting long. She getting dark. She getting hairy. So we need to do that again. La Homme, La Homme et de Ali, Al. Don't worry about pronouncing the names unless you're from Europe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Guerlain, Guerlain, ooh. If you want best peach, go with Southern Peach Tea by Coastal Carolina. See, I've tried a few peach things before and the thing is, is sometimes peach for me smells, if not done right, can smell more um, urine-y, if that makes sense. Um, but I will try that. I will try that. If it's the best, that means it has to be done right. So I will try. I feel like it's like such a hit and miss for me. Either I'll love it or I'll be like very much you about it. Um, I agree. Um, I already forgot how to pronounce it. <laughs> Being good cherry scent, the almond in the fragrance is amazing. Even makes it unisex. Well, we all know who loves almond. And that's on average Joe. <laughs> I bought five bottles of La Om Ideal Intent to resell on eBay. Too lazy to post them now. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm petrified of YouTubers. I'm petrified of myself too. I could wear that every day if I had to. Just so well blended. Nice. So, 
Okay, I'm all caught up on chat now. So that is all I've added to my collection thus far. Um, or from from the week. This I literally got all of these this week, which is awesome. So shout out to Hells and Yara, shout outs to Hunter and Ulta and Frankenstein. <laughs> uh not sponsored but uh yeah i i'm really happy with my collection i love southern peach tea but again then again i do like peachy stuff nice but it does it does sound like it it's gonna be like not too too bad almonds <laughs> i pronounced my grandkids names wrong and they still love me even when they get their especially when they get their christmas cards oh yeah i love opening christmas cards from my grandparents and pretending that money didn't fall out it would just be like wow what a great card i'm like pretending i didn't oh there's money in there what one second i'm sorry see it, it wasn't it wasn't uh mr midnight this time it was cookie interrupting the stream i have to bounce it's very nice to meet you so i look forward to seeing more of your content have a fantastic week Peace out to the chat. Have an excellent week as well. Thank you so much, Post Cologne. I appreciate you um, for stopping by. And um, thank you so much for subbing. I look forward to seeing you in the chat more in the future. I like almonds with my beer. <laughs> nice. Um, checking out more content tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's all I had. Um, so... Thank you all for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and drop the, um, the link for anybody that would like to hop on. Maybe we could chat for a bit. Um, so yeah, something that I did this weekend actually, um, was get a new tattoo here. I'll stand up and show you guys. Um, it's scabbing over right now and I still have the, the sticky um bandage on it so when i take it off it's not gonna look as crazy but just know it looks like way thicker right now because it's healing and it's been in this bandage for days um but yeah so i got this tattoo yesterday um so there is a little cloud and um raindrops and then a hand with fire on the fingertips um, and, oh, sorry, I love when my grandma sent me $2 and told me not to spend it all on plates. I love grandparents. <laughs> They're so funny. I love that. Good live, you're natural in front of the camera, especially replying to comments. Thank you. Well, because you guys are my friends. I love talking to you guys, so I do not mind at all. Like, I, I love the back and forth, honestly. Um, but thank you. I so appreciate your comment. Thank you. Oh, we have a new, um, speaking of people I appreciate. Mmm, okay. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Strawberry has hit 100 subscribers. What's going on? I'm very shocked, uh, but really happy that we got to this point and really grateful. <laughs> but, I mean, it's small in the grand scheme of things but it's way more than I thought I'd ever get. <laughs> so I'm doing a little happy dance inside. <laughs> well, congrats. Thank you. You deserve it. Absolutely. Great job, Bravo. Shout outs to everyone in the chat. Awesome stuff. And uh, I'm looking forward to what, what else happens. You know, what else you get, what else you see. Yeah. Smell I, and try. I have quite a few on my to-be-bought list, so... <laughs> I have a lot on my to be bought list actually. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, going, I'm going to finish what I was saying about the yeah, keep talking. tattoo because I, I did go on Joe's um, stream yesterday and explain a little bit of it. Um, but yeah, basically it is for my um, bipolar disorder. Um, they, it's a sisilic disorder where you'll have your highs and then you'll get your extreme lows. Uh, those are not flick of the switch like most people uh, stereotype it to be. Um, it's more of a days, weeks, months, 
type of cycle where you'll be down here for that long mm -hmm. and you'll be up here for that long. And so when I get into my stormy days, um, I just have to know that the fire is always going to come back and I always have control of that. So that is why I got my tattoo, but I love it. I love it. Um, I'm going to start doing patchwork too. Um, okay. Building up a, like a sleeve. Yeah. Of patchwork style. Mm -hmm. sense. On average, I took a screenshot. So I remember to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> My grandpa used to do that all the time. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you said check one out. Oops. Yeah. I, I was... Oh, what were you going to say? No, I'm just saying I'm waiting for clarity on that alley. Oh, okay. Uh, they say people born in late summer have that more often than people born in parts of the year. Oh, bipolar disorder? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I am I was born at the end of July, so... Yeah. Yeah, not, not too far off. That's crazy. I wonder why. I wonder, mm. wonder what triggers that. Summer bummer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I took that stream down. Um, yeah, it. Uh, there, there, there was a particular person that we all know, love, and uh, everything that joined the stream towards the tail end, and you know, did what they do. I, I oh. think that would be the best way to put it. So, oh, I <laughs> yeah, no, it was like the final hour and a half of the stream, like went completely derailed. south, if you will. Yeah, derailed. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but... it's fine. Oh, and that's the stream where I was talking about my tattoo. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, you any as soon as, as soon as you left the stream, everything went to chaos. Oh, as gosh, soon as you of left course. the stream, but that always happens. As soon as I leave, something happens. They just wait. <gasps> we have another guest. Mm. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. hang on. You got it. Hi. Gonna, Welcome. Gonna, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta scoot over this way. If we're gonna keep it, and there okay. we go. Ah, there that's better. Go. Okay, cool. Sorry. I'm gonna scoot back then. <laughs> hey, what's up? Shout outs oh, to Brian. Hey, I was Joe. just explaining. Um, well, sounds like the stream was taken down yesterday, so I was explaining my tattoo that I got. Um, yeah. And the meaning Love behind it. it with the my bipolar disorder. Um, since that's just been something I've been learning to live with rather than defeat lately. So, yeah. And like I said in that awesome. stream, I freaking uh, I freaking love it, man. Thank love you. It. I, lo I love the uh, mental health awareness. <laughs> Here, one. Long time no see, Brian. Great to see you. It's been a while. When when was the last time I saw you? Sorry. Uh, maybe like two, three weeks ago, something yeah, like that. Around there. Forever ago. It's been so long. Tyler, mm. busy man today. Yeah, you know, but I'm getting back into it, man. I'm getting back into the, the swing of things. Yeah. Put this yeah. Here. Also, shout out to Mike. I see you in the chat. Great to see you making sense. On Mike, average patch. Mike's killing it, man. Freaking loving your fragrances, by the way. <clears throat> dent and a half in this bottle already so uh so yeah it's great to I'll see you it. brian welcome yeah, it's good to Hello. be here good to be here good to be here yes. um tyler my birthday is july 25th one of your guys birthdays well you know me i'm a capricorn i'm december 27th two days after christmas i'm a leo Mm, tried and true, baby. Mm -hmm. Are you August Leo or July Leo? August 8th. August. I just had my birthday. His birthday. Love mm. that. Um, uh, Leo's Unite. I love I love that so many people are Leo's here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do have our honorary Capricorn friend. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh, Mikey's here. Hi, Mikey. How are you? And Kyler, how are you again? Stefan Street again. I don't think so. No. 
No, I don't think so. I no, mean, not there. Stefan. It wasn't Stefan, Arxa. <sighs> oh, ah, does it rhyme with muddles? <laughs> Man, I'm thirsty. Or does it rhyme with seal? Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Tyler says you're a busy man today. <laughs> I have been. I've been a busy, busy guy. Yeah. S sit in my makeup chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wish I need to get a gaming chair, man. I need to get something better than this chair sucks. When I move in, in, in a month, I'm, I'm getting a better chair. I, I, I mean, this thing is terrible. I mean, for a $1,500 chair, this is the worst thing I've ever said and for, for yeah, over like a to, year. Oh. I'd like to upgrade, too. I do have plans of eventually, like, uh, moving my setup downstairs uh, to another room. So I'm hoping I could upgrade because when I do the three-hour streams, like, that's when you could see it. I'm like, okay, my back's starting to hurt. I, like, start moving around a lot. Man, wait till you get to to my age, man. You're you're gonna you're gonna wish that you had. I'll tell you that <laughs> you're gonna wish that you had. Oh, for sure. Oh, thank you so much for stopping in, Mikey. I appreciate it. Hottest fucking man in Frag Home. Yes, please check out Making Sense uh, if you haven't. Uh, that's where on average patches, as well as Laguna Twenty Fourteen, mm. which is my favorite. Uh, if you like watermelon candy fragrances, that's the one for you. Oh gosh, I'm so behind. <laughs> this keeps mm -hmm. happening. Shout out to Leah. It's again. it's the yeah. hardest thing to do. Is just um, what I always do is I always look at the comments. I'm always looking at the comments. Right. Like, oh, really? Yeah. I get invested in what I'm saying. And then I, I quit looking at, I quit looking at the camera and I just start looking at the comments and I just <laughs> listen to what's going on. I'm like, okay, what am I going to, like, what's going to go up here next? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mikey. And you'll even notice I'm doing it right now. I'm, I'm not right. paying attention exactly. to you guys. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, thank you, Mikey. I definitely will look at uh, chairs, the Lazy Boy chairs, chairs at Staples. Right. Yara's birthday is in under two hours. Yes, uh -oh. it is. Oh, so happy birthday, Yarbar! The happy 20... birthday. What is it? The twenty second. Hell yeah! Yes. Another birthday Leo. God, right there. So <laughs> when many is Leos so, in the so it's, a, it's a when is your birthday? The twenty fifth, and Tyler says his is of the August. 25th. No, last month. Of last July month. Okay, so wait, you you're a, you're a Leo though. Yes. <clears throat> Fucking love yep. Leos. Sorry. I'm a Leo. Yara's a Leo. Chris. Chris is a Leo. Tyler's a Leo. Joey. A Leo. Joey's a Leo. Eric's a Leo. He's a Capricorn. Eric's a Eric. Leo. Oh. 1947. January 11th. That is a uh, Capricorn as well. Fragrance Fight Night. <laughs> we got a hey. lot of Leos and Capricorns. <laughs> That's good, Kyler. I'm good. Good to see Kyler. Gemini here, so I never have to explain one minute. I'm the kind of old pop next year. <laughs> Y'all can get off my lawn. <laughs> oh, Mark's a Leo, too. Oh, snap. Aussie wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. that's There's so many Leos. It's because Leos are the most sociable people. They mm -hmm. love talking to others, and they love they love being social creatures, whether that's in person or not, we're the most social creatures there are. So we like to roar. <laughs> yes. We like to freaking roar. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I actually used to do live streaming in um, You Now. That's how right. Joey and Yo found me and Chris. Chris actually found me and told yeah. them to come say hi on, on uh, Mutant Night. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I was a bit of a mutant. <laughs> I feel like I'm probably been really normal. <laughs> And look at you that now, like, what are yeah. you, what, what, how many subs are you at now? I can't uh, see. On you now? No, no right now. Like, how here. many subs are you, do you have? 104. So, 104, all right, oh perfect. Well, for four videos in three weeks. 444, four, four, baby, we are Wendy's. Man, this you're is doing Wendy's, sir. Okay. You're <laughs> killing you know, it. He's not sponsored, but... <laughs> I think I put out like a hundred videos before I got to a hundred subs. I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> no, no, oh. I don't. I, it wasn't four videos. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I know. I feel very 
we're like very happy and like super appreciative. So thank you to everybody yeah. who's here. I just am happy you guys are supporting me. It's really sweet. Well, you deserve you it. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Yara says, thanks everybody while also hiding. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as she knows, or they know that our, we love them and just wish the happiest birthday ever. My birthday is Tuesday. We bring in Virgo season. I mm. love Virgos. Every single one of my friends are Virgos. Virgos if you're a Leo, guys. you need a Virgo bestie. They keep mm -hmm. you like, we're, we're messy. We're crazy. We're a lot. Mm -hmm. We're, and then Virgos will be like, okay, but like, make sure to drink water. You know, <laughs> like, they, they don't right. always have your True. back. <laughs> um, Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Leo, Leo. I'm going to have to agree with this. Mm. Uh, be, we, because we only get along. We are, oh, <laughs> or party. <laughs> After that, we uh, like to be left alone. That's true, I would say. But actually, I feel like um, sometimes it could also be very chaotic because they'll fight for attention or they'll fight for the spotlight in social scenarios together. Not in so much a couple format, but more of like a, like a friend format. Mm. Um, they have a hard time being friends with other Leos because it can be competition. <laughs> okay, we get it. You're here. Do you want to host? Yeah. Is that a cat? Yeah. This was Mr. Midnight. Is that a cat the or a baby? Every time I stream. It's 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 Mr. Midnight. It's her main cat, the black cat. Okay, what's up, Mr. Midnight? You're you're very vocal. I came <laughs> here to say that I puked on the ground again. <laughs> the joys of having a cat. Mm. Um you can have a <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Shout out to Pop Fritz. Great to see Pop Fritz here too. Oh, Fragrance Fright Nights in, in, in the house too. Um, yes. I don't think that will be for a very long time, but thank you, Kyler, for the It'll wish. be sooner than you it'll be sooner than you think. Right. I I could only hope one day. You will. <laughs> Mr. Midnight loves live streaming. Yes, he right. does. But he's just like all angry. I swear he can attest every time I stream, he won't shut up. Just yes. I'm done streaming. Silence. Pure right. silence. Yeah, I'm talking about even music. though she'll still be backstage or something, he won't say anything then. It's literally like he it's like he's watching her live stream and it's like I'm gonna annoy you because I see that you're on type exactly. of situation. He's just here for my demise. <laughs> I want to talk fragrance too, Mom. You should, you know, get Hunter the Prada Luna Rosa Sport next since you like Lamar so much. Yes, yes. I was actually looking at that um, fragrance net earlier this week. That's what um, Mr. Midnight's trying to tell you right now. I almost got it. I almost got it, but I did it. Gosh. <laughs> I'm a Leo and my bestie's a Leo. It does work out. Okay. That yeah. That's my bestie. I'm her bestie. Shout out yes. to Autumn. Yes. That's another <laughs> Leo. That sure. is another Leo. She just celebrated her birthday the 11th. Mm -hmm. Oh, the 11th. Oh, and you're both August Leos. That's and then my bad. dad, my dad just celebrated his Friday. So he's the 18th. There's just a house full of Leos. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I. See, I maybe it's July Leos that are toxic because they're mm. I've experienced that with, and maybe if they're two female Leos, because I had quite a few experiences with female Leos in July, and they, they have a competition about that. Yeah, they they're like that. Yeah, the beginning. So that yeah, there's two different types of Leos. So like I'm like the um the very I, I wouldn't say just like headstrong but i'm very confident yada 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 but very lovable and very caring i i used to work with a lady monica and she was my boss the, the owner of the music venue i worked at and she was the beginning like the end of july she was a bitch <laughs> like we did not get along at all she was not fun i was like and she was like yeah i'm a leo i'm like 
oh, you're that Leo. You're that type of Leo. I see. I oh, see. Yeah. See, I feel like I totally could be that type of Leo, but I have yeah. a Taurus moon, which yeah, grounds but... me. I think mm. that's my one saving factor. Well, the fun fact about Taurus and Leos. They're Tauruses <laughs> do not. We're like the worst together. Yes. My ex-wife was a Taurus. Like, it's such a mental mm. battle all the time. Yeah, with me. Always. Because yeah. I'm a Leo sign and then Taurus don't, moon. And they just... I don't know what my moon is. I'm, we I will figure know. that out. But yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. I don't, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> it, hel it helps you understand yourself more. I didn't actually, I didn't used to believe in all that stuff, but once I started, like, really, like, I had a, a friend who was like, let's, you know, figure all this out, and I'm like, oh, that totally makes sense, like, Taurus, Leo, my ex-wife was a Taurus, totally makes sense. Yeah. Totally makes oh, sense. I, I know a Taurus and a Leo together. And... Oh, it's bad. I mean, we oh. were together for, like, 10 years, yeah. and it worked for a while. Oh. But... There's worked for, like, three months. <laughs> but they're still together but it's just it's like a it's like a reality tv show right crash. you just can't look away you know yeah. and they're just they just keep going at it i don't know but <laughs> he makes me think of toothless around. i know is what maybe when he's old i'll stop around calling him toothless when he loses all his teeth <laughs> we're missing two thumbs up don't sip on our likes for our new yeah sorry <laughs> Yeah, true yeah, that. Hit that like button, what? guys. Come on. Do it now. Do it now. Poor Libra favor. in the house? Okay. Libras. I do not like Libra women. Uh -oh. Libra men, I think, are art. I've never gotten along with a Libra woman. Ever. Don't meet my sister, then. Well, she might be nice. She might be the exception. I know three Libra women that I was close to in my life. And every single one of them, I had to walk on eggshells mm. with what I said around them. And it, I just think it's not a coincidence that they're all three Libras. And I had to have, I've had that issue with all three of them, you know. It also matters on if, it, if they're September or October Libra. True. These were, um, I think they're both October. And oh, also well, depends on your moon. There goes that. Oh, it also depends on your moon as well. So, um, and your rising. So they all have influences over all these things. I've never seen a kitten at my house unless I'm recording a video. <gasps> Free kitten. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Mr. Midnight, the streamer, smells the streamer. Like, yeah, he must. Or he just likes, or we have a theory that the ghost that haunts my house comes only when I'm streaming because he likes to see himself in his, the camera because he's like, right, or she, we don't know, or they, we don't know, but um, they don't like to, uh, they like to show themselves and get attention through StreamYard. Um, speaking of which, oh gosh, where'd it go? Guess what I have? Uh oh, oh, I know da, what you da, have. Da, da, da. But, the SB7 Spirit Box. I just for, got it. Is that like a for like ghosts? For yes. Ghosts. Yeah. So Hell, it's a radio yeah. frequency white noise, and it just yeah. sweeps. Mm -hmm. I I've been trying to mess around with it. Um, haven't quite figured out how it works, but hopefully I'll figure it out over the next couple of days. See if I get anything, and um, hopefully we can look into that more. And do it on stream. That would be super fun. Jane I know love ghost hunting. Me too. I'm big awesome. on that. That's the one that um, Zach Brannikins uses on yeah. um, Ghost Adventures. Ghost, yeah, I love Ghost Adventure, Adventures. Freaking yeah. awesome. I watch every episode. I saw a TikTok where it was like, oh, Justin Bieber was my, wasn't my um, childhood crush. It was Zach. Ghost Adventures, which is so true. I had the biggest crush on him. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. I could totally see that. Get more than words instead. I love Luna Rosa Sport. It's my second fave from the line after Extreme. They should yes. never have got rid of Extreme. 
Yeah, so more than words is Mikey's uh version of Luna Rosa Extreme. Oh. And then this one. So <gasps> what he's saying is is he loves Extreme before they got rid of it. He made more than words and Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Okay, I need to remember this time stamp 124. I'm gonna come back and look at that then. Mm -hmm. Gemini's get along with everyone depending on whether it's day or night, winter or summer. That is true. I do love Gemini's. Um, I was cheated on by Gemini though, so I have a little bit of a grudge, but I'm not gonna punish the entire Gem Gemini population. <laughs> Um, wifey just sent me a buy a dog on Amazon link page and available Mila a boxer slash lab mix for one twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh like buy a real dog you can do that on Amazon now I don't I don't know what are they going to do buy. are they going to send it over like drone style just right. drop it off like, at the front <laughs> Woof woof. That's terrifying. That's terrible. Good night. Good, good night. night. Thank you so much to you. Good night. A happy birthday. Thank you so much again for the cans and mango skin. We appreciate you guys. Have a good night. I will leave This is awesome. X Rife was a jackal. <laughs> that wasn't a zodiac mm. sign. Just my best at the accurate description. It's okay. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I'm the conundrum, Leo. Very giving and caring, or the complete opposite. I could beat you up and steal you alone. No, that's like me. Are you a July Leo, Don? Because that's like me. I, I'm super generous. Like, I will give you a shirt off my back if you need it. I don't care. But also, if you cross me, I'm a Latina. You know, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Justin Bieber is still mine. I actually had a cardboard cutout life size of Justin Bieber and Edward from Twilight in okay. my room at like 13 and I had them facing my bed. So every morning when I woke up, I'd just be like, good morning. <laughs> Can you but imagine that, Brian? You waking up to Justin Bieber and Edward from Twilight? Yeah. No, I mean, like this. Katie, <laughs> Holmes, Katie Holmes was my crush growing up. I mean, oh, really? I don't. Oh yeah, dude. Dawson's Creek, man. You don't even yeah. know what you don't even know Dawson's Creek. I uh, know. Don't I know even it. know. I I'm haven't watched kidding. it, but I know it. I was. I was. Everybody uh, said I was Pacey from Dawson's Creek when I was in in grade school or elementary school, whatever the fuck. You, or sorry, excuse me. You call it these days. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I was uh, Justin Bieber. I mean, God, I was like twenty when Justin Bieber was like, you know making his way into fame Hell, I, I think i was actually older than that how old is justin mm -hmm. bieber how old is justin bieber like 30 30 yeah probably no nah, he can't mm -hmm. even be 30 no, no, 25, no yeah no no 26. way Just, he's around no. there he's in his high 20s we're gonna we're gonna find out yeah he was born in 1994 yes yeah, so 89 five years from me 27 so he's 27 so he's 11 years younger than me okay so yeah uh, it's probably about in my 20s like mm -hmm. mid mid 20s <laughs> yes and i i used to i used to live on dawson's creek yeah. loved it buffy the vampire slayer dawson's yeah. creek is the show let me, let me some sarah michelle geller you need the other joey though for the dawson creek banter he has it as his ringtone actually like when you call him I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for all of us. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. I watch a lot of like Degrassi and the Amanda Bynes show. Oh, yeah, was it yeah. the Amanda show with my sister? Was it Degrassi before or after Drake? With Drake. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Man. Please don't spirit box right now. Save it for last stage. Backstage. No, I'm not. Don't worry. I haven't figured it out yet. Because I just Correct. like Gemini's. Oh, for sure. We are. We have a lot in common. <laughs> I used to have a life-size cutout of John Wayne. John Wayne Gacy. Seriously? Yeah. No, no, John, John Wayne. Wayne. John Wayne, like John Wayne, the the cowboy, the the movie star. 
okay. Not John Wayne Gacy. I, I swear to God, I hope he didn't have John Wayne Gacy, a little clown sitting in the, <laughs> like, fat clown sitting in the corner that yeah. he woke up and was like, oh, I want to be like you one day. Yeah. Ugh, weird. I feel very comforted you're watching over me. Right. And that's, I'm, I'm very impressed that you know who John Wayne Gacy is. Oh. Did you watch, did you watch a Netflix series on it? Huh? Did you watch the Netflix series, the documentary on John Wayne Gacy? Well, I listened to YouTube rabbit holes about the cases and everything, mm. like true crime cases, like all day long. That's all I listened to. This is Monsters is a really, really good uh, channel. If you haven't checked it out, um, it really is. good. I love it. It's But it's dark. It's very dark. They're monsters for a reason. <laughs> Um, I'm an Aries. What are your thoughts? My other half is an Aries. I love Aries. Aries are my favorite. We're combative, though. Like, Aries are super tempered. And, but Leos are one of the only people that can handle tempered people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we'll give it back. <laughs> and I, I think it, it's grounds for mutual appreciation. I used to live in Dawson. Oh, it's a real mm. life. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Linda Ronstad was my crush, especially when she sang barefoot on stage with the stone peonies. Ponies. The ponies. stone ponies. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. That's stone ponies. That's way back. definitely. That's definitely. Yeah. Way she, back she's day. not her time. Yeah. Oh my time. <laughs> 28. What's up, Caboose? Oh How man, Kyler, Kyler, getting getting strong to to DDLD. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're up on Ooh, Shakespeare performing his plays. And <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Edgar Allan Poe. Gosh, in mm -hmm. my in my goth phase, I was like, the one person I want to meet is Edgar Allan Poe. If I could meet anyone dead or alive. Back when I was emo. <laughs> emo girl, emo phase, I see you. I'm an emo girl. I married a Scorpio. Can't argue with her because she's always right. That is an interesting <laughs> couple. Scorpios and Leos. I... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that was rude, but also not too far off, Joe. Not too far off. <laughs> That's what YouTube is also to discover great music. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Well, I was only planning on streaming for an hour today, but we're already at 132. So I think that this was a great stream. Um, yes. I want to thank uh, Joe and my two cents, Brian, for uh, joining me today. On Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank you. For putting in the background vocals. Man, he <laughs> is vocal <laughs> as as all get out. Yeah. No. It's like meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, look, awful! Don't do that, please. Um. Anyway, so he's mad about something. I need to attend to him. But <laughs> I appreciate you two for coming on. Thank please you. check out the channels if you haven't already. But I'm sure you have because we're all friends here, right? So. Yep. Please subscribe and thank you. I hope you have a very great Sunday and a very great week ahead of you. Um, don't forget to click well. the like button. And yes. I hope you have a great day. And Joe, I didn't say that. That wasn't me. <laughs> I love you, Joe. You know that. You're my partner in crime. <laughs> okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. If anyone wants to join backstage, but bye.